What's up, everyone? Hunter is up. Swap me Sunday. So I'm gonna go see if they've got anything new inside. You never know. So stay tuned, heading in. Here we go. Let's go say hi to the boy. What's up, man? Good morning. How's it going? What a crappy day, huh? I know, right? I'm waiting. Um, it looks like it's going to rain. I'm just kind of waiting. Yeah. I see how you're, yeah. Just kind of. Well, I think, I don't know if it's going to rain. It may just stay misty, but. Yeah. I'm going to wait till it gets overcast. and then go. Let's Start putting out hard. Nice. Never know. Yeah, I saw the, like last week, remember the, or was it two weeks? Yeah, the three ninjas has that one ever in it. Yeah. Harriet the Spy, woo! <laughs> That's still good. Oh, let's look around. Let's see. We got. Oh yeah, Yahoo! Yahoo! Serious? Young Frankenstein. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have them. Um, all of them. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, blood sport action. Cannon. Not to keep peeking. You never know. This movie's awesome. Skateboard superstars. Uh, I don't do this anymore. <laughs> Kill myself. Actually... Fun fact, I broke my arm doing this when I was a kid. So, that's why I don't skateboard. Yeah, like leather and hats and... And patches, patches like these and sick shit, ones right everything here. Everything was just like junk though. The one I went to was like... Cat, yeah, we get the good stuff, dog too. carriers and tools. You know, it was like, reminded me of like Santee. Like junk. Oh yeah, Massacre Video just re-released this. Which one? The 555 right there. Okay. Yeah, it was out of print. And they just put it back out. DVD? I think on Blu-ray, but it could be on DVD. All right, I'm in. Uh, people are still setting up, so I'm gonna take a quick run through. Um, you know, check out the stands and stuff, booths that already have stuff up. But after that, I'm gonna come back. I did find some cool VHS. But I'm here for Blu-rays, so. See, there's still boxes and boxes. To, and unlike other swap meets, at this one, you do not go through people's stuff until they're ready. You know, other places I've noticed, they just start letting you dig through, but not here. So most of this stuff is people's private property they're selling. Not just some random junk. Like, you know, they, they brought it from their house, and they don't want you just going through their, <laughs> their boxes without permission. So... Until then, so I find some movies. Undergarments? <laughs> Stay tuned. Right, stuff I have. Keep going trying a different angle today or going in a different direction looks like that uh guy's back yeah yes they are here so probably the same as last week but i'm gonna go back through and see what i didn't bring home so i know you guys spotted a few as well these are uh, two bucks. Yeah, two dollar Blu-ray. Okay. These are dollars. Dollar DVD, two dollar Blu-rays. All right. All right. I'm gonna go back through and see if I can find some more. Here we go. All right, I'm done at the two dollar table. Still looking. Lots of random toys here today. <laughs> Kid needs those missing pieces. Or if you guys are looking for silverware <laughs> or matches, and patches, and shoes. Oh, where's my blues? Yeah. I found, ooh, what's that? What's that? Ah, 
Eh, clam shells and basic instinct. I'm gonna keep going, but five items at the $2 table that I'll show you guys later. Um, but most was the same, same stuff from last week. So five things I had skipped over or missed. So hats, no thanks. All right, next row. Here we go. Still looking. Still looking. the movies they're not labeled though so Ten bucks. don't know maybe uh, vinegar syndrome can do something with these <laughs> these are cool though to see reels out here Eight mil. like these are the movies <laughs> you guys want to see movies <laughs> uh, this is where it all started it looks like Home videos. Heading for the Rio Grande, Tex Ritter, Rin Tin Tin. Uh, what was that? Harry Hurry? Was Donnery. Okay, yeah. I don't have a projector, so I guess I won't be playing these. Oh, look for the other discs. Oh, Atari? James Dean toy. Got Lord of the Rings. So, still looking for the movies, but lots of random, random stuff here today. More matchbooks. All right, Dollar Man Part Two. Yeah, another guy selling dollar movies. You know, most most of these guys here, these vendors, are dollar, two dollar, three dollar. You'll find the one random, you know, home collector that thinks he has something special, and he might mark it up to five or ten. Um, my favorite, you know, guy that comes here at the first booth that I always stop at, he actually <clears throat> does charge on the higher end, which I get it. He's got horror movies and select things that you can't really get you know they're not the um common stuff you see here but either way when you go to a swap meet you're looking for cheap stuff you know flea markets you're looking for the the deals um at least i am this lady was here last week uh she she brought a couple of new things but uh, nothing i would rather have had the the road with the movie in it but is what it is um, I did see one little, what, what, what's this? Yeah, Lakeview Terrace. I like this movie. Um, I don't have this movie, so it's a possibility. Put it to the side right there. Keep looking around. Uh, the Arthur remake, I don't have, but it's one of those I'm like, yeah, I'm past for now. The knife selection, though. Oh, okay. And... This guy, this guy, okay, he bought out somebody's collection. He was telling me, oh, look through him, okay, I'm like, all right, I'll take a peek. 
I forgot to ask the most important question, you know, before I started looking at them, you know, how much are they? You know, I made the dumb assumption, eh, dollar, you know, maybe he's selling them for 50 cents or, you know, once I started looking at them, I noticed there was a lot of music related titles, lots of like concerts and shows and some comedy with the SNL series. But uh, yeah, once I peeked at the last box and I saw Iron Maiden, I asked, how much? And he said, eight dollars. <laughs> And I like these dinosaurs, I was out of there, extinct from his booth. Ugh, rawr, 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 rawr. Anyways, Blu-rays, these were back to the cheap sections. I'm like, $8 a DVD? I don't care what kind of music's on there, you know, it shouldn't be that much. Um, even the CDs with the actual music were 50 cents to a dollar, so. Anyways, uh, this guy normally has... Eh, a good selection of Blu-rays. He does two for five. Um, so, you know, two fifty a piece. Good deal for a blue. You know, especially if you can find one, you know, that you don't have. Or even an out of print, which I have before. Uh, sometimes, you know, you'll find those $30, $40 Blu-rays in these piles. These guys don't know what they have. Um, and you don't want to help them either. You know, they're there to help you. <laughs> Not the other way around. Um, I'll give him a couple of bucks and they'll be happy. So, today was his wife versus the husband who I normally see here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Movies, movies. Oh, more movies. VHS, yes. Uh, I, this stack of movies has been here for a couple of weeks. There's just so many that I still go through them to, you know, make sure I don't overlook anything. Um, if that Free Willy was a Blu-ray, I would have been more happy. Um, but I did, <coughs> I did actually see something coming up, if I'm not mistaken, that was new, in a sense, meaning I don't normally see them there, these cut boxes. Uh, they were interesting, you know, at least the titles, you know, Robocop. As you cut boxes, they <coughs> cut away another box and put it into a clamshell. So they don't fit. This though stood out. The uh, Thorn EMI HBO video release of Rambo Part 2 First Blood. The cover art alone. Beautiful. Uh, a couple of cool other items like that t-shirt. Friday the 13th. I had to stop and take a peek. Uh, it was not my size. You know, I, I don't wear small boy mediums. <laughs> or youth mediums. So not for me. Last table of the day, you know, just figured, why not? I'll, I saw some movies out of the corner of my eye. You know, looking at them, nothing really standing out. <clears throat> One Blu-ray, uh, or two, actually, Iron Man, and I think it was uh, Winter's Bone. A movie I've never seen before, never heard of, but looked interesting. So, we'll get on out. All right, I'm done. Uh, good day. Filled up the backpack. We had to go through probably three times. <laughs> I don't know how I missed tables or booths, but I did. Some cool stuff. Some cool stuff. And I don't know what it was today, but there's a lot of people that just left their stands unattended. I had to wait for the dollar man. Like, he just left all of his stuff out there for... I don't know, 10 minutes for anyone to take. So a lot of trust system here. I don't know in your state or counties or area. If, if I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. So anyways, uh, I, may, I may stop at the Goodwill down the street because it's open, but I may not. First thing, I got to find my car. I'm lost. So stay tuned if I ever make it home, then I'll show you what I got. And I'm home. All right. Swap meet's done, hours later, dinner, stuff, you know, family time, all that's been done. So I'm out here, ready to show you what I got. Pulled out everything from the backpack, trying to make this easier. You know, because I wanted to go quicker, to be honest. There's already so much footage that I just showed right there, and I didn't want to cut. But I, I even cut some stuff out, you know, that I just, you know. You didn't need to see. It's crap. <laughs> um, 
DVD, first off, Fast and Furious 2. This one, I'm showing you because it's not for me. I got this for a coworker. Second copy I found this weekend. This was the cheapest one. And it was the cleanest one. It's going to a new home. She only wants to see two of them. She didn't want the Blu-ray. She wanted a DVD. So I was like, all right, I knew I could find it. Next, from Paris with Love. Never seen it. I just know Bald is Beautiful, Travolta, love them. I'm going to give it a shot. So, no one of those cheap blues for me. Wonder. I've uh, passed on it a million times. I've always wondered what I would think of the movie. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm going to watch it for myself. Uh, I haven't heard anything bad. Nothing bad, so... The wonder is over. I'll watch it soon. <laughs> This one is a tearjerker for me. Extremely loud, incredibly close. Tom Hanks without Tom Hanks in the movie. I mean, he's in the movie, but he's not in the movie. Hard to explain. It's a 9-11 movie. I should say it all. Not, you know, like uh, one that I would watch all the time because it is one that just uh, pulls almost famous i have the 4k still book i want to say and i have a dvd cut of it like all cool editions of it and i didn't have uh the blu-ray i was like what now i have the blu-ray maybe that comes with the still book but i have like a separate you know release of it like this i love this movie uh was it fever dog i mean the soundtrack in there is just the best and i love when they sing um tiny dancer in the bus I mean, it's a great movie, just overall. The Eagle. Um, it, this one I don't remember too much about, but I love these kind of, like, fighting movies. Like, not just war movies with, like, guns and stuff and grenades. Like, this is, like, I like swords and axes and man-made weapons with stone and, you know, bow and arrows and stuff. So these, they're fun. You know, like a Braveheart kind of a movie. You know, I love the older war flicks rush uh know nothing about but i love ron howard as a director and uh hemsworth why not i think he's a formula one driver maybe that's what i gather from this it's nothing i nothing too common that i don't see all the time so it's like all right why not winner's bone again another movie i've never seen i tried to grab a lot of blues i've never seen today that looked and read well um, or had good, you know, just, let's say appeal, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it look, this one looks like it could be good. Um, it says it won something. I don't know what it won, though. I mean, I don't think it won, like, an Academy or an Oscar. But if it did, bonus. Winner's bone. Because maybe I like it. This one does not have a Blu-ray release. Uh, but I want to show my little guy because I showed my twins when they were little. You know, How to Eat Fried Worms. Family Flick. You know, it's an all right. It's an all right. These are from Dollar Man, the free ones. Uh, the Bruce and Lloyd spinoff kind of thing. You know, gets more out of control. I, I just needed something. I remember this. These guys were kind of funny-ish. <laughs> and they're gadgets, I think. I don't know. I'm just like, whatever. I, I didn't want to spend all day. And then Death Sentence I grabbed because the copy I have of this DVD is the Hollywood video or Blockbuster. So it has the red sticker or preview. It has the white you know, logo. It's got the, this weird case, that hard plastic they used with the Blockbuster print inside. I want to keep that too, but uh, I just wanted a cleaner version, cleaner copy. And the other disc that I have, it's, I noticed a little bit. I mean, it's a preview movie, so it's a little scratched. It plays fine, but that's clean. It was, like, never been watched. So, why not? I'll get that Region B Blue eventually. Trouble with Curve. Trouble with the Curve. Love Clint Eastwood. Love baseball. Been sitting at the Dollar Man forever. I'm like, I need some... I, I need... I had some dollars, and it was like, I just picked this up finally. I was, like, my, my second pass around, too. Enchanted, but I decided to grab this. I didn't have it. I took a moment, looked up Blu-ray.com of the stuff that I've put in. 
This I used to have, but I let somebody borrow it and it never came home. I like live action and and uh, animation. You know, when they cross over together. It's no cool world, but it'll do. <laughs> uh, Blue Crush 2. Uh, don't even think I have one. I don't know why I grabbed this one. To be honest, really, no answer. Just... Landed in the back. The Colony. I did mean to pick this one up. Uh, this I can't find for cheap. And then I find it today. You know, for like the two bucks. I think I missed it last time. I must have passed it over or whatever. You know, so two dollar table. And um, it's an okay movie. But it's way overpriced. Like some Blu-rays that come out right now for... Like I say, to wait. You know, that thing's 20. Like that Shutter Island... From um, the other day, you know, 30 That's like how much that thing is. It's like 24 bucks or something. Something crazy. $19.99. It should be $9.99. I'd take the $2. <laughs> uh, Get Out. Don't know anything about this, to be honest. Fun fact, I don't watch Jordan Peele movies. I like Jor uh, Jordan Peele um, when he was in Key and Peele. But I never really got into his horror. I have Us, and now I have Get Out. I'm going to eventually sit down and I'm going to get the rest of them and just purge. Just make myself watch them. You know, like... I don't know when, but one of these days. So, keep, Keeping up with the Joneses. Um, another cheap one I didn't have. Didn't know anything about. But look, alright. Atomic Blonde. Did not have this one either. So, another one of those first time... Watches because I don't think I've seen this. I don't think sexy ass kicking fun sold me the Boondock Saints 2. I like uh, Boondock Saints 1. The Boondock Saints, <laughs> I don't even say part one because it doesn't need that. Uh, this I don't remember if I've seen it, but it was cheap. That dollar man again. Not the same dollar man, but the other dollar man. He was like seven for five or everything for a dollar. I almost picked up those saw copies that I'm like, maybe I could like trade these in. Maybe they're worth more than a buck. But I'm like, no, nah, saw has been released so many times now. And I'm like, I don't think anybody needs part two and three on Blu-ray. Honestly, and I probably would have barely got like the dollar back. So I was like, I didn't waste my time. Entrapment. Um... It's like a slower, like, thief movie. I like Sean Connery and I like Zeta Jones, but the chemistry here for me, I have to rewatch it, wasn't the best the first time around. Like, I don't know. They just don't... Something. I'm going to rewatch and see if I'm like, yep, I, it's what I thought. WrestleMania 3. I love it. WWE was mine. That was my era. Um... Hulk Hogan taking on the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Andre the Giant. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one where he picks him up and body slams him. The mammoth of a man. You know, I don't know how Hulk did it, but <laughs> I have to rewatch. Oh, and bonus. This is cool as hell. The the walk up music. To these bad boys. Um, still sealed. So I might open this and check it out. You know, I would have been more of the hitman. Myself. Jake the snake. Honky talk man. And uh, Undertaker. Rock and Triple H. And Kane and stuff was after my wrestling days. <laughs> the days of watching. You know I moved on. I forget when. But I, I don't even watch it now. I don't watch any of it. But I'll watch that. I'll watch old school wrestling 100%. Uh, Mike and Dave need wedding dates, I think. Yeah, I've seen this one time. Don't remember if I liked it. It's an okay comedy. Probably because I don't remember much. So, Green Lantern. The original with Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan Reynolds. I don't remember loving this movie. I know a lot of people hate this movie. 
Uh, I figured I'm just going to give it a shot. When I watch the other Green Hornet movie. So I'm going to have like a Green Lantern, Green Hornet combo night. Planet 51. This one, I love the cast. Animation, I still love. So that's another bonus. But I mean, listen, Dwayne Johnson, Jessica Biel, Justin Long, Gary Oldman, and Sean William Scott. They do the voices. That's a great cast. If that was a movie, you know, like a regular movie. Hitch. Love Hitch. Um, didn't have the Blu-ray of it. I just have a DVD. So I said, I'm going to upgrade this finally. I haven't watched this in a while, so it's probably going to get moved up soon. When I say soon, within three months. <laughs> Paul Blart 2. Ball cap 2. I have part one. Part two, I can't remember anything about. I just figured, why not? Now, the VHS is of the day. I did pick up Rambo 2. First Blood. The, the HBO Thorn EM, EMPI. Or EM... I, uh, snapper case or whatever it, the cover art, the cover art sold me. I loved it. I love it. With everything going on on here, this thing is just popping. Like if I was at the video store back in the day, like, yeah, Rambo 2. Heck yeah. That looks awesome. Um, look how much it originally was. 79, you know, 80 bucks. So, that's one. The Hitcher. Great thriller. Rudger Hauer, C. Thomas Howell. This will make you never pitch up, pick up a hitchhiker ever. Never pick one up. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. <laughs> Young Frankenstein was Yahoo Serious. Uh, fun movie. I think it has a DVD. Blu-ray? No way. If it has a Blu-ray, I'm getting it. You know, it's probably like Price of Lucas or some. Um, fun movie, though, with Yahoo Serious. And then Bloodsport is my final pickup of the day. Uh, I have the Blu-ray with Time Cop combo. I have a DVD. Maybe I had a VHS. But I couldn't take the chance. I couldn't log these, so... Trying to keep track of every VHS is hard. This, though, I didn't mind having another copy of if I did. You know, because I love Bloodsport. And it was super cheap. Save it. You know, because if I don't have it, I'm going to trade it one day. A lot of people back into these old tapes. <laughs> so that's today's haul. Let me see if I can stack them up for my money. Look at that. That's my... Ta-da! So, yes. The movies. Good day. So, that's it. That's everything, boys. Boys and girls. Uh, what am I watching? You know... Another one that needs a Blu-ray. Can't buy me love. And another one... That needs a Blu-ray because I'm going to be watching all of these soon. Loverboy. <laughs> so, can't wait for that. I pulled out a bunch of really old DVDs too that uh, didn't have Blu-rays that I wanted to rewatch. So, those are the first two. But yeah, great Pac Patrick Dempsey movies. <sighs> but other than that, like, subscribe, comment, everything else. Um, get to bed, you know, get to work. <laughs> um, take your vitamins <laughs> nothing else later